Greetings to all traders on our Focus Trader channel. We are very happy to welcome you here again and to discuss with you other setups. Today we will not only be covering Forex, but also indices. We will also cover other know-how and much more that can help you in your trading. But before we start, we can't forget to invite you to our Discord group. Here, together with more than 100 other traders, we discuss individual setups and help anyone in need. We would also like to invite you to the previous two videos. In these videos we discussed the setups on the currency pairs GPUST and YURCHP. These setups were very interesting and explained many things that are good to know. There were several profitable trades that made us many dollars in our trading account. Now, let's move on to analyzing the individual setups that took place on Monday March 27, 2023. As always, we used our great indicators BOS Trader and ICT Liquidity Indicator. So what will you see in today's video that you definitely shouldn't miss? 1. PUS Setup 2. BOS Trader Indicator on DE30 3. Better Entry with Bigger RRR 4. GPP and Audist Setups 5. Important No, How As always, we'll risk $250 on every single trade. Let's see what profit we can make today. In the first video, we made $2,500 and in the second, a nice $2,000. So in total, we already have $4,500 in our trading account. The BOS Trader Indicator settings for these trades can be found in the bottom bar. Now let's move on to the GPUS chart. This whole setup was preceded by a short consolidation move to the right that was formed before the London session started. This move created the so-called barrier that we might have feared in the subsequent potential move upwards. But first came the sellers, who decided to grab several times the liquidity below. After the liquidity was selected, there was a dynamic move of buyers, which caused our indicator to plot an area of interest. In this area, two signals were plotted right away. However, we always try to enter on the first one. Since there was a nice liquidity grab, there was no further dangerous liquidity. If you're wondering what dangerous liquidity is, check out our video where we made $2,500 in one day. We break it down very carefully in this video. But now let's get back to the trade. As we said, the only obstacle for us could be the consolidation area that could act as a barrier. This made us wary of reducing our position here or even exiting the trade because we placed our take profit above the upper liquidity line. The stop loss was placed in the middle of the area of interest. The price hardly hesitated before the aforementioned barrier and continued very strongly upwards. There was not a single signal indicating a possible stop in the rise, so we waited until our preset take profit. With the stop loss and take profit placed, we worked with a risk-reward ratio size of 1 to 9. As a result, we made a whopping $2,250 on this one trade. In today's video, we're going to cover not just one instrument, but several. Of course, we'll only break down the setups in the morning, UTC plus 1, when these setups occurred. So now we can move on to the Germany 30 index, or DE30. We're still on the minute chart. The first setup occurred at 9.12 am when the first area of interest was plotted. Since we saw a lot of liquidity below that area, we assumed that the market would want to get there. This made us wait to see if the BOS trader indicator would provide an entry signal. It came at 9.20 am, there was no dangerous liquidity and we had already bounced from the consolidation move. So the assumption was to close the gap from the past and grab very close liquidity. So the take profit was placed exactly on it and the stop loss above the high of the previous candle. The sellers had their say and the price moved down without a single major pullback. Our take profit was taken out. The RRR of 1 to 3 brought us a profit of $750. However, we would like to stop at this setup and show you how it is possible to enter better and achieve a larger risk-reward ratio on the exact same setup because of it. The entry signal was really big, hence creating the so-called gap. Since traders close gaps in most cases, we could have assumed that the price would close it and only then head downwards. So by setting a limit order here, to close the gap, we could have gotten a much better entry. If we had placed the stop loss at exactly the same distance as before and taken profit that way, we would have got a risk-reward ratio of 1 to 6. But now let's take a look at the next setup that happened right after that. The sellers chose our take profit, but even after that the buyers took the floor. They caused a long wick and a subsequent price rise. The structure was broken. Since we saw very aggressive sellers and a nice multiple liquidity grabs, we expected a buy signal to appear here. This came a few moments later. Again, there was no dangerous liquidity, no barrier, so the entry into the trade was crystal clear. Stop loss was placed below the low of the previous candle and take profit at the liquidity limit. 
the price moved with less momentum than before to the upside, but still our take profit was collected around 1 p.m. A risk-reward ratio of 1 to 4.5 has now brought us $1,125 into our account. So in total we are already at a profit of $4,125 without a single loss. Another setup, this time again in Forex. The pair we will now analyze is GPSP. Here we have two beautiful setups that took place that we would like to break down with you and tell you how we approached them. The first setup arose at 9 a.m. when an area of interest was plotted. Prior to that, there were multiple liquidity withdrawals. But as we can see, one liquidity line remained very close to ungrabbed. Due to this, when an entry signal appeared in the area of interest, we made the following decision. Thus, we entered the trade with a half position due to the concern of grabbing the given liquidity. The stop loss was placed in the middle of the value area and the take profit placed on the liquidity that was previously drawn. The price started to fall very sharply and we were able to receive a profit of $312. As liquidity was selected and buyers entered the market, a break structure was again created. The BOS trader plotted the area of interest and we just waited for the subsequent entry signal. This took place after a few minutes. As there was no dangerous liquidity or obstacle, we could enter the trade without any fear. We placed our stop loss on the lower edge of the area of interest and took profit on the ungrabbed liquidity we discussed a little while ago. The buyers were strong here, but the sellers were not about to give up either. Since we had a clear take profit and stop loss, we let the whole setup run its course. Fortunately, the ending was successful for us. The risk-reward ratio of 1 to 4 brought us another nice profit of $1,000. Let's take a look at the latest setup today on the oddest currency pair. The first setup arose at 9.12 a.m. when an area of interest was drawn after the two previous liquidity and breakout structures were taken out. The price did not stay here very much and after 3 minutes a sell signal was drawn. We entered the trade and placed the stop loss at the top edge of the area of interest. Take profit was slightly variable for us. We believed that the price could go lower for all liquidity. Therefore, the take profit was placed on the lower liquidity line. The price went down, however, after grabbing the third liquidity we could see a long rejection wick on this candle. Hence, we decided to exit the trade in question. This turned out to be the right choice. Buyers have entered the market again and caused a break in the structure. An entry signal was drawn in the area of interest. We placed the stop loss again at the lower edge of the area of interest and the take profit at a risk reward ratio of 1 to 3 at the price level of 0.6650. It didn't take too long and we made another profit. Both trades brought us a total profit of $1,750. These were the setups from the four markets from Monday morning. These trades brought us huge profits. With 5 profits today, we made $10,187. So the total balance in our trading account is now $14,687. Since we are still risking $250 on each additional trade, there could now be several losses and we will still be in profit. You can take this approach to trading too. Just contact us in our Discord group and we will give you a free trial for a week to try everything out. But now we will move on to the promise know-how. As you could see in one of the previous setups, better input can offer much bigger gains. And what is better entry anyway? A better entry is a so-called entry into a position at a better price. This means that the entry signal is very large and creates a so-called gap. We can only enter on its quick close, which happens very often, just as in the picture on the right. By doing this we can increase the risk-reward ratio by several units. That's all for today's video. If you like the video, don't forget to give us a like, a subscribe and if you have any questions or a different perspective on the market, comment here. We'd love to talk to you about how you see these opportunities. Again, we'd like to reiterate that we'd love to have you join our Discord group. You can not only get a free trial there, but also many other useful things. Have a great time and we'll see you in the next video.